Before I get to the topic of this video, if you guys haven't already seen Michael the Comic Nerd's review of the movie GoldenEye, go check it out. It's a crossover review with him and myself reviewing the game because he reviews movies and I review video games and GoldenEye the movie inspired GoldenEye the N64 first person shooter which was a very legendary first person shooter. So it's a pretty funny review to watch especially if you like GoldenEye and if you like the videos that I do go check it out. Him and I get into some pretty funny scenes with our little rivalry. So yeah, it's under my favorites video playlist, so go ahead and check that check out that video and I'll have a link to the video in the description of this video. So yeah, go ahead and check that out. Anyways, so I know I might sound like a broken record in my reviews when I consistently talk about how gameplay is always more important than graphics, but the reason why I say it so much is because so many people who play video games and certain game publishers, Crytek, are under the impression that it's the other way around. Now, they use graphics as a way to judge a game or a console to judge its quality. And what I have to say to those people is, if you care more about how a game looks than how well it plays or what features it has to make it fun, you really shouldn't be playing video games in the first place. Instead, you should be watching a movie because movies are where you want to see you know, the great looking visuals, to hear well composed music, to judge the performances of the actors, to get a well told story. That's what you look for in a movie. You know, I've been studying movies for quite some time now because I want to get into the movie industry, so take my word for it. That's what you expect from a movie. Is you don't go to a video game for that kind of Prison, for that kind of presentation, you know, you shouldn't go into a video game expecting great presentation. I'm seeing too many people want their games nowadays to be interactive movies. And this has been going on for quite some time now. Really since, I guess since the 6th generation, give or take, just about 6th generation, people have been expecting their video games to be interactive movies. And then when they're not, they start slamming the game and I don't think that's right at all because video games they didn't start off as interactive movies and one of the first video games that came out in the 70s that my parents played when they were teenagers and your parents probably played as well was Pong yeah just Pong just two squares you move them from side to side and you bounced another square that represented the tennis ball and the winner would be whoever would bounce that square tennis ball across a white line on the uh, on the opponent's side. Now that's all it was. That's all there was to Pong, but it, that was what a video game was made to be. It was just for the gameplay, and that's what is most important about a video game is how well it plays. And you look as another example. Look at the footage that I have right now. What's the multiplayer footage for Conflict Desert Storm 2. Now, as I said in my review of this game, these are pretty ugly graphics, quite frankly, but why do I play this game if it's so ugly? I'll tell you why. Because it's fun. Especially with friends. Yeah, it's fun. That's why I play it. And that's how you should judge if a game is worth your time. Judge it by how fu much fun it is to play. Don't judge it by how good it looks or how ugly it looks. Now, quite frankly, you could have the prettiest looking game in existence. You can have a game that looks stunningly beautiful with almost lifelike graphics and be the most beautiful game ever made. It can be on the most powerful device to ever exist. But that doesn't make it fun automatically because... If a game is boring, if it controls bad, if it's not a fun game to play, then guess what? The game sucks. No matter how pretty a game is or what the fight it's on, if the gameplay sucks, then the game sucks. That's all there is to it. The game sucks if it's not fun to play. I don't care how pretty it is. It has to rely on its gameplay. It's not fun if the gameplay doesn't hold up. Yes, pretty graphics are nice. Really good looking games are nice. It's nice to have games with great presentation. There are certain games out there, certain games that I have, where I really like how it looks or how it presents itself or the art style or the graphics. 
just in general how they present themselves like legend of zelda twilight princess conduit 2 i like i like conduit 2's art style and i really like banjo kazooie's presentation but banjo kazooie on the nintendo 64 or even on the xbla the xbox live arcade is still far better than the hd banjo kazooie nuts and bolts and that has everything to do with the gameplay so to all of you who play video games the next time your favorite developer announces a new game at e3 or comic-con or whatever it is and you go onto the twitter feed or some kind of forum to tell the developer what you think about the game don't go to the twitter feed or forum or whatever it is to complain about how the game looks or to complain about the demand that the game should look better from the developers don't do that instead you should be going onto these feeds and telling the developers to make the game as much fun as it can be make it a great gameplay experience that's what we want video game developers to focus on we want them to focus on how a game plays we want them to make great quality video games because that's the whole point it's a video game not just a video a video game it's not fun if the gameplay isn't fun again i don't care how good looking it is it has to be fun in order for it to be a good video game all right that's all i have to say about that leave your thoughts in the comments section below about graphics versus gameplay and i will see you next time i'm Still working on my Star Fox Assault review. I'll try to get it up as soon as possible. Have a good one.